When you hear the term skyscrapers, the image of the tallest towers in the world comes to mind, such as the Empire State Building as the first modern multi-story building or the Burj Khalifa in the United Arab Emirates, and many towers and high-rise buildings that have been known in the name of skyscrapers. I know that you know a lot of skyscrapers around the world. But what do you know about future skyscrapers? Do you know that some of them are still just construction plans on paper? Others have already started construction. Also that whose construction work has stopped. And now the most important question. Do you know where the first skyscraper in the world was built and inhabited by people? And when was it built? I will tell you about these skyscrapers and where they are located and how they were built at the end of the video. And I am sure that for the first time you know this information. Now let's get back to the topic of the video that you are eager to watch. And I hope you like it. Let's go with Future's Modern Skyscrapers. For a decade, Burj Khalifa has been the world's tallest skyscraper. But how long will it last? Burj Khalifa, 2,717 feet long and 163 floors, opened in January 2010 and an exceptional show was presented in which the Dubai Fountain danced to the tunes of Arabic and classical music. The tallest tower in the world at the time received the name Khalifa on the opening night. This was the first time that the name of the tower was announced. It was always called Burj Dubai. Burj Khalifa has a range of facilities dedicated to either serving residents that living in Burj Khalifa special or those for visitors to the Burj or for business. As for the second place, he took the title from the Shanghai Tower, which is 2,073 feet tall and has 128 floors and has retained the title since its opening in 2015, until his competitor, the Murtika 118 skyscraper in Malaysia, was inaugurated in November 2023. Murtika 118 was ranked second in the world with a height of 2,227 feet and 118 floors. The building is designed with a combination of diamond-shaped glass facades to signify the diversity of Malaysians. It is designed to resemble and be inspired by Tonko Abdul Rahman's outstretched hand gesture while chanting Merdeka. When Malaysia declared independence on August 31, 1957, it contains inside spaces for offices and companies. It also has tourist attractions, with the opening of a branch inside the tower. Park Hyatt Hotel, and a number of platforms overlooking the Malaysian capital. But in the coming years, skyscrapers will currently go under construction, and giant and unique skyscrapers will change many centers when they are completed. But we don't know when this list will change yet, and who will occupy the first places as the tallest skyscraper in the world. I will now talk about future skyscrapers that are under construction, and I will summarize this list only to skyscrapers that compete for the top 10 places only and whose length is higher than 1,640 feet. Currently, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates are competing for the title. The first skyscraper is Jeddah Tower or as it was formerly known as Mile Tower which is located in Saudi Arabia. It is under construction. The project was previously announced on September 17, 2007 by Kingdom Holding Company owned by Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Work on a skyscraper began in 2013 in October 2017. 60 floors were completed. At the end of 2017, the chairman of Kingdom Holding Company, which owns 33% of the tower's shares, Al Walid bin Talal, and the chairman of the Bin Laden Group, the main contractor of the project, which owns 17% of the shares, were arrested. This was during a campaign known as Purge and Anti-Corruption, launched by the Saudi authorities and caused a major crisis at the time, but ended months later with the release of the majority of detained businessmen. Jeddah Tower located north of Jeddah on the Red Sea. The new Jeddah Tower is built in a triangular shape, sloped from the outside, in order to resist the wind and to be isolated from the hustle and bustle of the city on the other hand, the Jeddah Tower is set to include the highest observation deck in the world, 
at 664 meters above the ground. The tower will also feature other facilities and services such as the Five Star Four Seasons Hotel, 97 hotel apartments, offices spanning seven floors and 325 apartments. According to the statements, the tower consists of 167 floors and of course its length will be one mile. As for the other skyscraper, Dubai Creek Tower, it was initially known as Dubai Creek Harbour Tower, which is located in the United Arab Emirates. It is currently under construction. Construction of the tower began in 2016, and the ruler of Dubai attended the laying of the foundation stone of the tower and a planned opening in 2025. The company behind the development of Dubai Creek Tower has not announced the exact length of the tower, but it is expected to surpass the Burj Khalifa, which currently occupies first place. There is some news circulating that the length of the new tower will range in height of 4,300 feet, which will put it at the top of the list of the tallest towers in the world. On April 4, 2020, the developer of the tower and the surrounding area temporarily halted construction due to the COVID-19 pandemic. At that time, no construction activity was carried out on the Dubai Creek Tower site for almost two years. In August 2023, the developer confirmed that Dubai Creek Tower was undergoing a redesign to enhance its architectural concept. Construction will resume from July to December 2024. Thus, its opening date is unknown due to the cessation of construction. The design of Dubai Creek Tower is inspired by the shape of the Islamic minaret, as well as the shape of the lily flower. As for its interior design, the tower is expected to include many observation platforms and rotating platforms, and it will include about 20 floors dedicated to hotels, restaurants, and possibly residential apartments, and the antenna at its top will be used for broadcast purposes and the observation platforms will be decorated in the form of gardens inspired by the ancient hanging gardens of Babylon. The new Dubai Creek Tower is a landmark set to be added to the Emirates' long list of attractions. We are still in the UE and another tower in Dubai is Dubai One Tower. With a height of 2,333 feet, it will include 885 apartments a 350-room hotel and a marina yacht club. Apart from being the tallest residential tower, the project is set to set records for containing the highest restaurant in the world at an altitude of 675 meters. The planned observation deck is set to be 360 degrees, at a height of 655 meters in the air, and there are plenty of other attractions for tourism. Expected to open by 2027. My friend, please, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like, and activate the bell button. Now let's continue. M Tower, formerly known as KLCC City East Gate Tower, it is a proposed mega skyscraper project in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia located in Kuala Lumpur city center. Foundation work for the tower began in early 2019 and is scheduled to be 2,297 feet high consisting of 145 floors. The new building will consist of three office towers above the retail platform. The building features four basement levels of parking, and four retail platform levels as well as foundations for the future office. Towers A but unfortunately the towers will not be completed unless they are rented in the construction phase, according to the statement of the project owners who said, we will only build these office towers under pre-insurance leases for the entire building. But the project is expected to be completed by 2030 according to Malaysia's development vision and eventually, it is a mega project that will compete with the tallest skyscrapers in the future. And I think you will have one of the 10 ranks in the future. Signature Tower, a skyscraper planned to be built in Jakarta, Indonesia, and will become one of the 10 tallest buildings in the world when built. The tower is planned to be 2,093 feet high and will consist of 113 floors above ground and 6 underground. The above ground floors will be used as a space for conferences, entertainment venues, residential and office use, and contain a luxury hotel and the lower floors will be used for parking. The tower was proposed in 2010, 
and developers had hoped to start construction in 2015. But in June 2018, the company that owns and develops the building announced the postponement of the development of the signature tower Jakarta. But there are reports that the tower is back in work in 2021 and will be completed in 2025. Grand Rama Tower 9 It is a huge skyscraper under construction in Bangkok, Thailand, and the building will become the tallest building in Thailand. The tower was initially known as Rama 9 Super Tower when it was first proposed. The name was changed to Grand Rama Tower 9 because Arabic numerals are more recognizable than Roman numerals. Grand Rama Tower 9 is set to rise to 2,018 feet, and this figure is designed to match the initially planned completion year. Grand Rama 9 will be mixed use, the tower's podium will be leased to retail stores and restaurants, the lower part of the tower will be used for offices, which is said to be Thailand's first 24-hour office facilities, the middle part of the tower will be occupied with service departments, and the upper floors of a six-star hotel with 260 rooms will be booked. The upper floor will have a closed observation deck for tourism. Now we will move on to the Chinese towers. Did you know that the list of current skyscraper heights in the world is almost half of them in China? China will continue to enter this list in the future, but with conditions. Did you know that at the end of the year 2019, the People's Republic of China prohibited the construction of any tower taller than 500 meters? Even towers that are under construction and more than 500 meters must adhere to this condition, and one of these examples is the Golden Finance Tower 117. It is an unfinished skyscraper located in Tianjin, China, 1955 feet high, and has 128 floors. Work began in 2008 and ceased in December 2019, as of November 2023. The building remained unfinished and uninhabited. China's state construction engineering company, the project contractor, removed all workers from the site and left it unfinished. It has currently been certified by Guinness World Records as the tallest uninhabited building in the world. As for the other towers, they were at the beginning of construction, and the design of the building has been changed, which complies with the new decisions of the state of China. And from these towers Suzhou Center Zongnan is a skyscraper under construction located in Suzhou, China. It was scheduled to be 2,391.7 feet high but after that decision the tower 1,638 feet high. Construction of the tower began in 2019 and is planned for completion in 2026. Of course there are other towers around the world under construction. But we did not mention them in this video, because we dedicated this video to skyscrapers that exceed 500 meters or more, and are under construction. Now let me tell you about the first skyscrapers inhabited by humans in the world, which I told you about at the beginning of the video. The first skyscrapers known to mankind are located in Yemen, it's, Shaibam Hadramat skyscrapers, located in Hadramat Governorate in south of Yemen, and their establishment dates back to the 16th century ad, where they were built from palm trunks, clay and water, it is still exists until this day and humans live there. It was included by the UNESCO World Heritage Organization in 1982, as one of the most beautiful and most organized buildings and as the oldest skyscraper city in the world. It was also added to the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Danger in 2015 due to the wars and political battles in Yemen, in addition to, to the rain that caused some skyscrapers to collapse. It has also been called the Manhattan of the Desert as a nickname. Here we have reached the end of the video. I hope that you have enjoyed and benefited from the new information to share it with your friends. A and I hope that you support me by liking the video, subscribe, and comment with your opinions. Thank you for watching the video. See you in another video with new information. Goodbye.